Such a treat to talk to you. <laughs> nice to meet mighty obsessed with Karate Kid 3. So I feel like this all coming together is a little bit of a dream come true. Good. So first, I know you took some time to explore writing and producing more over the years. So did you find that experience behind the scenes influencing your work as an actor on set when you started working on Cobra Kai uh, season four? Immensely so, because um, I've been a full-time writer for so long now. And it, you know, there's such a crossover in the arts. And when you're, when you're writing, you know, you, especially when it comes down to the dialogue, so you're really living up and playing each character. So there's always that part of me that I said, you know, um, was still alive. And when this came along, to walk on set and take all that experience from behind the scenes and watching it happen to say, now you're that person and just being able to focus on one entity and be able to live and breathe through that. It was very freeing, you know, it was a very um, fulfilling experience for me. All right, jumping into Terry Silver specifics now, I'm wondering what kind of story details did you have to fill in in between the events of Karate Kid 3 and Cobra Kai season four to you know, figure out why Terry is where he is at the beginning of the show and also what influences him when he makes certain decisions throughout it? Well, that was a big part of, of, of taking the job because that's the question I had for the creators, um, John, Josh, and Hayden, when you know, I first Zoomed with them. Um, and they had mapped out this whole backstory, going back to the whole Vietnam story, the whole relationship with Chris, the whole loyalty. And, um, and then bring, you know, what has that guy been doing for the last 30 years? They bring this guy who has been, who has so educated himself and become, you know, an artist in his own way. And you, you have to think to be able to do this, uh, you know, the, the, the things musically does or the art he has on the wall. That is a tremendous amount of devotion of time and energy and discipline. So I see where he brought, you know, his his martial arts to this world. But still throughout that, I just felt there was always these buried inner demons that, you know, he was trying to always keep at keep at, a, a, at arms, arms reach. And then when he's brought back into this world, it sort of like begins to unravel for him, which was a great, beautiful gray area to live in. All right, I have to put the spoiler warning up for these last two questions. So you could talk about these details freely, but I, I wrestle with this question from season to season with Crease, and now I'm kind of wondering the same thing with Terry. Do you think that there is a path to redemption for him or is the extreme version of him we see at the end of the season like, truly who he is deep down and there's just no coming back from that? That's a great big question. And you go, um, I think that's a question Terry asked, you know, and it, he, here's the thing. It's like if Terry, what he tried to put out asking for forgiveness came back, if it, what he tried to put out to say, I believe in what I'm doing in our society right now today, I can impact kids positively and give them something, a tool that they need. We may not believe in that. You may not believe in it. I may not believe in it, but Terry believes in that. And if I can give them that, then I'm doing something good. And that's very important for Terry to believe that he does throughout the, the whole thing. Now was, you know, is he right in that? Now does he, it's, it, it, he does go to an extreme, but I think it, that's because of the background he's had and the lack of you know, love for a, a, a simplistic way of looking at it, that how he expresses that. Um, but you always hope that there's, there's, you know, he's redeemable in some way. You want to, you know, you just, and I think he believes in his heart. You have to believe that, you know, it not only to be redeemable, but you're going to be redeemed because you were doing something. You were going against all odds. Everyone said this is wrong, but you believed in it and you committed to it. Cobra Kai is a show that has given me faith that the way that the writers tackle it, it, it still leaves hope for everybody, no matter what they do, no matter what they believe. And they've, they've proven me wrong with my redemption doubts all along. And I think that they could do it again. But, but Perry, that's why I love these guys, because literally anything is possible. And whenever you predict and think, oh, you expect something, they're going to twist it up. You know, and it's, it's exactly. wonderful for an actor to be going through that. This is why it's one of my favorite shows up and running right now. Huge congratulations. I'm so happy to have you back in this role. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Thank you, Terry.